audio check. One, two, one, two. Oh my name is Jared Acosta. One, two, one, two. Yeah. Things and things. Things and things. Audio check. One, two, one, two. Anybody all good? Keep them going. Keep them going. Three, four, five, good. six, right. seven, eight, nine. Good morning, Bulldogs. Welcome back to another episode of BNN. I'm your anchor, Kylie Chow. I'm your anchor, Woo! <laughs> this is exciting. Woo! <laughs> Amnonson Theater. Amnonson. Is it Amnonson? Omnonson. Omnonson. It's Om time! <laughs> lock into your well, stuff. Ho, ho, ho. Today during lunch will be. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Audio Moving. check. Audio check guys. I'm going to blow everybody's <laughs> ears. Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Welcome back to another episode of BNN. I'm your anchor, Jared Acosta. And I'm your anchor, Kai Chow. Hey, Jared, you're looking extra jolly today. What's the occasion? Well, ho, ho, ho. Today during lunch, we'll be having our annual holiday hangout in the gym. There will be lots of different festive activities and games for everyone to enjoy in order to close off our holiday spirit week. Hope to see you all there. Later this evening, eSports will be hosting their holiday movie night spectacular with the screening of the 2000 classic holiday movie, Elf. 
The night will begin with a pre-show ugly Christmas sweater contest. Seating will begin at 5 p.m. and the contest will start at 5.30 with this movie screening afterwards at 6 p.m. This outdoor event is free for everyone. Stop by with your friends and family to enjoy this festive fun. Did you know our West Covina community will be hosting its annual wet it's annual Kiwani's Christmas Parade this Saturday. Come by to support AFJRTC, Band and Color Guard, and our other student participants as they march off at 10 a.m. Man, I love the holidays. My favorite part is making gingerbread houses. Oh, is that what our team was up to the other day in the studio? Yeah, it was. Austin Cat Catano and Andrea Salazar competed against Ashley Bronstein and Ian Munns to see who would be able to decorate the best gingerbread house. At the end of this special segment, you guys will choose the winner of the competition. Stay on the lookout for a QR code to scan in order to vote who you think the winner of the competition should be. Let's head over and see what they made. Hey Bulldogs, today we have two teams of BNN students who will be competing against each other to see who could decorate their gingerbread house the best. Make sure you turn in to the end of the segment to see which gingerbread house you like the best. Three, two, one. Go. Go, 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 Okay, we have 20 minutes to finish. Kyle, can I get my... Oh, bro, you just ripped the whole thing. Do you have Swedish fish? Oh, no, I might have cup in. Is this how you use the... Are you supposed to use the base? Don't tell him, don't tell him, don't tell him. You guys got this. You can figure it out. You guys got this, dude. Like, are you going like a mod? Are you going like a home? I'm sorry, I've never built one before. Oh, look at that. Exactly. And then you put the roof on top. Okay, so like, how this? Towels, no paper towels. No paper towels. No paper towels. Towels. No, towels. No, the materials provided only. Andrea, you're selling. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to lose, bro. Here. What if they falls apart? <laughs> what if ours falls apart? Oh, well. But hers is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Excuse me. Oh, no. You dropped something. Oh, so that doesn't Excuse work. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello? Hey. hey. Mm -mm. Can we have a time check, please? Oh, yeah. What's the time check? Okay, wait, 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 the frosting. Five, four, three, two, one, time, 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 in your life, don't you yellow some things? And like, yeah, we're yeah. just trying to have some fun. So, exactly. Like, we weren't trying to like, you know, be like them. Like, so they cost you money so projects. Hard. You know, we're just having fun. Yeah. And, I think, and I mean, who do you resonate with more, right? A classy, well-kept home or the or chaos? Chaos and yellow. Mm -hmm. Chaos and yellow. Oh, there's some chaos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My home! <laughs> and that's what happened. <laughs> Great work, Bulldogs. Excited to see the winners of this competition. Make sure you scan the QR code or get the link from your teachers. This is Charlene Badolas with BNN. Wow, those are some creative houses. They were super cute. I would definitely want to live in them or eat them. In case you missed it, make sure to scan our QR code to place your vote on who made the best gingerbread house. The winner of the contest will be announced at the end of the episode. Don't miss, and stay, don't miss out and stay tuned on the show to see the results of the competition. Moving on, the MLS Soccer Cup Finals is this weekend between the defending champions, LAFC, and the challengers, the Columbus Crew. This is the 26th MLS Final, with the league starting in 1996. This match will be held at the Lower.com Field in Columbus, Ohio. We have this as being an entertaining and thrilling match. Go LA! Sports play an important part in our community, especially here on campus. Let's head over to Ashley Bronstein, Amia Sawyer, and Katie Castillo for the news brief on our Basketball's team, basketball team's upcoming rivalry game against South Hills. Hey Bulldogs, next Friday is our Kings of Cameron basketball rival game. This year it will be held at South Hills High School at 6.30. We got the opportunity to speak to some of our starting lineup about how they feel about the game. As a senior, how do you feel going into your last rival game? Um, honestly, I have to really try to put aside my emotions, although I'm happy about it. Um, put aside my emotions and focus on uh, getting a dub. How's your team preparing for this game? Us as a whole, as a team, um, we're preparing by watching film, practicing, applying what we're watching in film, applying it to practice, and just giving it our all at practice, and we'll be ready by game day. How do you, as a person, prepare for a high stakes game like this? 
Uh, maybe a little R&B, just staying locked in. Maybe get a little meal, and that's about it. Make sure to come and support our basketball team and buy your tickets. This is Amia Sawyer with BNN. Head over to at Dog Pounds under themselves, especially with their voice. Recently, Charlene Vidalis, Eddie Santos, and Kylie Chow had the opportunity to interview Juliana Othmer about her experiences in choir, theater, and dance. Take it away, Chow. Sophomore year, I heard Anthony Luna. I heard him on the announcements every day. I was like, oh my gosh, like, why don't I do something like that? Why don't I like go out and explore my horizons, you know, uh, be heard across the campus? Plenty of students get involved with their school, whether it is joining a sport, club, ASB, or performing arts. Today, we spotlight Juliana Othmer, a senior involved in all the performing arts West Covina High School has to offer. The performing arts environment, it's just so accepting and, you know, fun. Something you can really put all your heart and mind to, and it's just a really great passion. Juliana has been performing for quite a while. She is seen as a role model by many. Charlene, an ambitious sophomore, sees Juliana as a mentor and a great friend. Julie is uh, very supportive emotionally, especially in the performing arts world. It's really great to have support with you. If Julie is in the room, he'll definitely cheer and mm, will probably be the loudest, which is really comforting. Juliana is known to channel her energy through her voice. It's a way of expression, trying to be my best positive self around others, you know, being goofy with people and trying my best to be a light around me. And I know my words reflect a lot of uh, my own mentality. It really helps that she's always there to support us. I love Julie. I'm involved in so, so, so many things. So I know where my limits are and using my voice has really just helped me express whenever I need help. We hope you continue to inspire others with your talented voice. This is Kylie Chow with BNN. Juliana is such a talented individual. She's truly an inspiration. Speaking of musical talent, Owen Kolick had the opportunity to interview Laura, the manager of Chaos Records, a small record shop located in downtown Covina. Off to you, Owen. We had to move about seven times so we found this place. This is the best location we've had, though. Laura manages to take care of this small business called Chaos Records in Covina. She currently works for her boss, Ray Degrees, hoping to one day take ownership. Now we've expanded. We have, like, over 2,000 shirts, a bunch of CDs and records. I had to learn how to like engage with the customers and I think it brought my confidence up and just being around music in general, it's wonderful. Meeting the customers and having them leave like happy with music because to me, music is kind of therapeutic. Laura enjoys helping her boss even in her off time and in return, he allows her to sell her own handmade jewelry. Nobody usually comes to a record store to get jewelry. But in the last two years that he let me do it, like, it's been really helpful for me, too, with paying bills and stuff. The fact that we're all 80s, there's not that many record stores focused on 80s. We have so much variety of Smiths and Depeche Mode, too. We're like, I always say we're Morrissey headquarters because people that love Morrissey and the Smiths, they come here, or they flock here. Having, like, the posters, having patches, pins, all those little things, those mean a lot. People come in here some days just to get a pin and walk out, you know? I think that's a special thing. Some record stores are all posh and they just have literally records. And to me, that's so boring. I think it's great that people still also go to Hot Topic. Those Hot Topic people find us and they're like, wow, what's all this new music that's actually old music? I think we all need to like grow with music, like we grow with art, like we grow with literature and books. Laura goes on to provide advice for other small businesses to help them manage to be successful. Because if you only have current things, it'll die out as a fad. If you keep the older stuff with the new stuff and you keep evolving, you'll stay constant and you'll stay busy. There'll always be business that way. It's nice to see local shops like, they, like these that create a nice environment to others explore different artistic pieces. Make sure to head over to Chaos Records and support local community businesses. And now, the moment you have all been waiting for, the results of the Gingerbread House competition. Drum rolls, please. And the winner is Austin and Andrea. Congratulations to the both of them. With all the festivities going on, remember that semester finals are just around the corner. West Coast Crunch starts next week. It's time to lock into our studies. Well, that's all the time we have for today, Bulldogs. If you want to rewatch this episode or any previous episodes, make sure to follow us on Instagram at WCHS underscore digital media 
to subscribe to our YouTube channel, WCHS Digital Media. With that being said, I'm your anchor, Kylie Chow. And I'm your anchor, Jared Acosta. And, and we'll, we'll see you next time on BNN. BNN.